Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's my pleasure to uh, moderate this, this symposium about uh, brain perfusion. And um, please remember that the uh, picture and video is not allowed. Uh, we will have a fantastic uh, speaker, uh, Professor Adam Davies and Professor, Professor Marco Essig, to uh, talk about uh, the, the problem about application of brain, of brain perfusion. What's the issue? What's the problem? Why we are here? Uh, in the last 20 years, we have been using and um, developing brain perfusion in the daily practice. We use uh, on acute stroke patients in, in brain tumor, but also in hematoma, vascular lesions, or neuro neurodegenerative disease. But uh, really, we have problems. We have problems because we have uh, several techniques. Several techniques. Each technique has uh, good points and weaknesses. And mainly, mainly we, we, we as radiologists, we use CT perfusion or magnetic resonance perfusion. So we have experience about that, but also we have experience about problems, about problems in the, about doubts. No, any radiologist can face with doubt using in the daily practice uh, perfusion. Uh, there are several papers talking about the main strengths and the main weaknesses of, of uh, perfusion. And in, in, in reality, they, we now face with uh, redefinition or refinement of the concept about perfusion or penumbra. So it's an open, open issue uh, uh, with some conflicted uh, questions to answer. So in, in reality, for instance, we have a thing like alternative, like competition about perfusion. For instance, you know that uh, to look for other way to, to, uh, to determine the penumbra, some author proposed clinical diffusion or angiodiffusion, and in uh, talking about tumors, some author proposed even. But maybe we need to uh, look uh, and to work much better with perfusion because perfusion probably is the, the best sequence and that we have to study uh, the brain. So uh, uh, there are fantastic paper uh, trying to work uh, the different question and I doubt that any radiologist must face. Um, uh, some of the questions that maybe you can have is a problem about the knowledge of your physician about uh, the utility of perfusion or for instance uh, the knowledge of expertise of your radiologist or your staff about perfusion and the lack of standardization of perfusion between different vendors, uh, between different post-processing uh, software. So we have a question that we need to, to answer. So the, that's why we like and we need to thank uh, OLEA, the organization of this symposium. This symposium can try to answer all your doubts about the application of perfusion. So to answer this question, we have two fantastic speakers, uh, Professor Adam Davis, he is an assistant clinical professor of radiology at the University, New York University. He is the director of Imaging Processing Laboratory. And he has training uh, on neurosurgery, interventional neuroradiology, and diagnostic neuroradiology. And he is author of several publications of the field. His main focus is cerebrovascular diseases and validation of software of processing in neuroradiology. Professor Marco Essi is a, actually professor and chairman of radiology at the University of Manitoba, Winnipeg, Canada. He has training as a neuroradiologist with a fellow in the United States, and he also, he's also author of several publications of the field. His main uh, interest is functional radiology and oncology imaging. So now I call to the podium to Professor Davis.